Well, thought I'd post a little sip wrap. What's going on with the old Saw 900? Um, as you can see, there's no engine in it anymore. Um, which means that I'm putting even more money into this bloody car. <laughs> I still haven't moved on to the body work. Uh, this car is still rotting into the ground, but hey, she's still with us. Got to make it drivable. We can't just have a car not driving. Not that there was anything really wrong with it. The gearbox was making a lot of noise. So I haven't been driving it for the last couple of years. So remove the engine. Uh, not too big of a deal. Uh, I have the new redone cylinder head. Check this out. Um, so that just, I picked up that from the machine shop. Uh, she's all looking absolutely beautiful and sexy. It's got the new uh, Trionic 5 intake valves, uh, a radius valve job, uh, which is like a multi-angle valve job. Um, I had the, surf, uh, the head resurfaced and of course um, it got new intake guides. Uh, we'll see if we can focus in on there. You can see my porting work there. So yeah, it's going to look great. Um, in addition to doing the head swap, uh, we've got the gearboxes situation here. So I took that gearbox off of the old engine that's been sitting on my floor for the last couple of years. And in a previous video, I uh, had a look at that, decided it wasn't really in the bestest of shape. And also I had a look in the front primary housing and the bloody chain looks like it's been eating the damn oil um, oil cup there. So it's a little oiling piece of the chain goes and it, and it flings the oil into the cup to keep the level in, in the primary case, like at the correct level. So for some reason, this chain somehow is able to hit this. I'm not exactly sure why that is. I think the tensioner is just outright failed in it and eating that apart. So I can't trust that. Uh, the gearbox that used to be in the car had no issues with the primary. And as you can see, uh, that's fine. So, we are going to remove this part of the transmission, the primary, the primary drive, and the fifth gear kind of crap in there and that sort of crap. I'm going to move it from this transmission over to this transmission, and then we'll be fine because as far as I know, who knows, maybe the pinion's screwed in this one too. Maybe I'll have a look at that as well. But hopefully that'll be the combination that's going to work for now, a while until I can have a gearbox professionally rebuilt uh, brand new. Ha! Like that's ever going to happen. So yeah, there's that situation. And if we look down here on the floor, we can see the motor has been completely taken apart, disassembled. Uh, the old uh, carbon Kevlar clutch there still holding on. Um, and this is the engine. Oh jeez. Let's ruin shit, hey? There we go. No issues with the engine uh, to speak of. Obviously, I did a really uh, thorough job of rebuilding this a couple years ago. Um, everything looks, you know, pristine and clean in there. Um, the bottom of the engine looks just as clean as it was the day I put it in. So, yeah, it's looking fine in there. <sighs> Got the old turbo there. I haven't decided whether or not that turbo is going to stay or go. I think it's probably going to stay for the time being, and then it's going to get changed. Uh, some miscellaneous bits and pieces. The exhaust manifold, which I had resurfaced, leaked anyway, as you can see. So that resurfacing job was a waste of money. Cleaned up the intake manifold, made it all look beautiful again. Um, and that's ready to go back on the car when that time comes. Throttle body, same thing. Clean that all up nice. Blah, blah, blah. All looks nice. So, yeah. Uh, we'll have a look at the head uh, that I pulled off that engine, which I rebuilt a couple years back when I did the engine. Fuel rail with bigger injectors. Um, it's just a uh, what, what's called the big port head. Um, for the, you know, the 2.1 slash 2.3 head. Uh, these camshafts are custom made, cast custom grind. Um, they have about 9.3 millimeters of lift and 
uh, a fair bit of duration. Uh, the car had a noticeable lump at idle um, and definitely had a really good top end because of those cams. Um, as you can see, after a few years of use, it's still nice and shiny and clean like it's brand new still. Nothing wrong with this head whatsoever. Honestly, there's nothing wrong. The lifters are all basically brand new and stuff in there still. Um, but honestly, I just wanted the, the new head in the back of the car with the different combustion chambers of, as I described in another video. So that's going to be going in in place of that one. So yeah, working away here. We'll do an update if people are interested in the build. We'll do more updates. If nobody's interested, then I'm just going to work away. Until then, see y'all later.